Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alicia and I share beauty and lifestyle videos, so I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. But today I'm gonna be showing y'all different ways to style faux leather leggings. So if y'all wanna see what they are, then just keep watching. So I am going to be sharing a few outfits that are similar to my video where I styled the faux leather shorts. So you can wear any of those outfits or these outfits with either one or even faux leather pants. Those would look really cute as well. But I am going to share some outfit ideas for the colder weather since it is cooling off here in Tennessee which I am not liking, but I think it is supposed to be up to 70 degrees tomorrow and it got almost 70, I think today, which I love, but still cooler in the mornings. So these would make great transition outfits as well. So I always like to start off with the most casual outfit first. So that is this one right here. Hopefully y'all can see everything okay. I normally do my wide angle lens, but I feel like I'm not very in focus when I use that lens. So I would rather me be clear in the outfits than have more room, if that makes sense. So this is probably the outfit I have been wearing the most lately. I am so obsessed with it. And if you follow me on Instagram, this might look a little familiar. It actually used to be a dress, but I accidentally shrunk it. And it's too short, my booty was hanging out, so I actually just cut it off and turned it into a crop top. And then I have my Spanx faux leather leggings, and then I just threw on some sneakers. So the ones I'm going to be talking about today are the Spanx ones and I got mine on sale during the Nordstrom sale I think about two years ago but there are so many other dupes that look just like them if you don't want to splurge or can't splurge on a pair of Spanx but I personally think they are worth it and absolutely love them. I wear them all the time so I think it is worth it but these are super high-waisted. I could pull them up so here is my belly button and they just suck everything in and they're not see-through at all and so comfortable. I absolutely love them. I have on a medium regular but I think I'm about 5'5", five five, and if you are 5'5 five five or shorter, I would get the petite. I could definitely get petite because I have to roll these under quite a bit. Let me see if I can. So can y'all see how much I have to roll up? And I just roll it under. That way it kind of blends in. So I know a lot of people don't like crop shirts, but that's why I love that these are so high-waisted because you can't even tell that this is a crop shirt. And if you do have a dress that you shrunk, like a t-shirt dress, cut it off and you don't even have to make it cropped. You can cut it longer, but I just thought it would be cute as a crop shirt and I have seriously been wearing this all the time so it worked out okay one more crop top and I will show regular length stuff but whenever I was putting together outfits and I was like well I'll just try this on because this actually came in a set once again if you follow me on Instagram you have seen this it has a pair of matching joggers and the set is sold together and I posted it on my Instagram I think last week Love that outfit. It is so comfortable. I love the color block. And so I was like, let me just see what this looks like. And I think this is my new favorite casual outfit. I am so obsessed with it. Once again, I don't mind the crop top with high waisted. Now, if these were regular, I would not wear this together but since they are high waisted and then I can also kind of pull it down to where it doesn't show as much but once again the Spanx it sucks everything in and so you don't have a whole lot showing but I'm seriously obsessed with this outfit I think it's my favorite that I'm gonna show and then I just left those sneakers on. I thought it looked really cute with the color block, the white, and then it kind of has the same tan color as 
this side too. It's my Louis Vuitton sneakers that I am also obsessed with. Just ignore how many times I say obsessed because I feel like I will be saying it a lot. But yes, this is definitely my favorite and I am probably going to be wearing this all the time. So if you see me out and about in this outfit all the time, also ignore that. Okay, I'm about to use that word again. <laughs> I am obsessed with this sweatshirt. I just got it in the mail, I think last week from a boutique called Stella Ray's. And they actually have what's called $20 Tuesday and starting at midnight, Monday night, they mark a lot of stuff down to $20, including sweatshirts. So I grabbed this one when it was $20 and absolutely love it. I also shared it on my Instagram stories. I haven't shared a picture of it yet. And you can actually see the true color in this video. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and share this. And let me get up close so you can actually read it. But it just has different designers. Gucci, Dior, Chanel, Hermes, Louis Vuitton, my favorite, and then E. Saint Laurent. So I just love like all the designers. And then I love this hot pink color. So this is pretty much my fall and winter uniform when it starts getting cooler here is a sweatshirt and leggings and then i'm sure ugg boots are not in but i'm a millennial i grew up with them well not the real ones back in the day but i am still obsessed with them i don't care if they're in or not if you don't like crop tops crop sweatshirts if you don't have a crop sweatshirt you could obviously wear a normal sweatshirt and if you are not comfortable showing your booty with leggings then you can always size up in sweatshirts so they will be longer but I can kind of pull this one down it doesn't cover all this but it does cover most of it but I just got my true size medium in this sweatshirt Okay, so I feel like this outfit is a step up from casual, but not quite dressy. But I did kind of dress it up a little bit with these leopard booties, which are some of my all-time favorite from Target. I think I got them about two years ago. Okay, once again, if you are comfortable showing your booty, you can get a shirt like this they have so many that are a little bit longer in the back which these are or this one is a little bit and it covers most of my butt but that's why i don't mind wearing the Spanx like as real pants because they aren't see-through at all and since they have like since they suck everything in i don't feel uncomfortable wearing them and if my booty shows but I know not everyone is comfortable. So just wear what you are comfortable with and works what works best for you and your body type. Okay, if you see, I have some guests now. They wanted to come in here. I had locked them out because they're normally wild. But anyways, here is another outfit that is a step up from casual. I think it is really cute. This would be a good kind of date night outfit or even just like a girl's night if you want it to be comfy. So I threw on a pair of kind of tan booties. Okay, I don't know how these are going to look, but I'm going to throw them on and see see because what I was going to say is if you had a pair of booties the kind of darker brown color and I remembered I had these knee high boots but I don't know how that'll look so let's just see. I actually kind of like it. Okay so here is another outfit idea. So yeah, I think this actually looks really cute. Okay, so whenever you clicked on this video, I'm not sure what type of outfit you wanted to see, but I always like showing a variety. So this one is definitely a little dressier. I'll get a little closer. So this is a like lace bodysuit and it is one of my absolute favorites. And it's just like normal 
in the back and does have adjustable straps. I actually got it at, pretty sure I got it from Ross. I love an all black outfit. I feel like it really just looks classic and kind of dressy and I don't know. And I even threw on some black sparkly boots. Let me get up closer again so y'all can see these. I am obsessed with these boots. So they are Jessica Simpson and I have no idea why. I don't know if it's because I'm kind of close to Nashville or what the deal is, but every time I do one of these videos, I'm always like, this would be a super cute outfit for Nashville. It really would. And I know that it is getting colder with the spaghetti strap, but if you are going like downtown, Broadway, going like dancing or anything like that, it gets so hot. And a lot of places in when it starts getting colder will blast the heat. So you come in with all these layers, then you start burning up. So this would be a really good outfit if you just threw on a super cute cardigan or jacket. And then whenever you got inside, you could take it off. So one of my favorite jackets, I think I've had it almost two years. Maybe this is the second year. I know I've had it over a year. How stinking cute is this? So that is one of the reasons I love wearing all black. Not only does it look just really classic and really put together, but you can wear any color accessory and my color accessory of choice is usually always pink. So this jacket I got at Target, but I think I ended up getting mine for like $20. It has pockets. I like how long it is. I love this pale pink and I'm so obsessed and I think this is perfect once again for Nashville and then you can just take this off whenever you get inside and bam. And if you don't want to wear the black shoes, I think leopard print would be super cute or even red since it's getting closer to the holidays or even pink shoes. I surprisingly, I do have, ooh, I do have some pink heels, but I don't have any pink boots surprisingly. So that would even be cute, but I kind of wanted to go with the national theme. So that's why I put these sparkly boots. And then of course in person, you can see things a little bit better. Oh, okay. I do have one more jacket to show y'all. It might be a little too bold. <laughs> Look, are y'all not obsessed? I know I am. And this, I feel like would be the perfect outfit if it is your birthday. I think this would be a really good cute Vegas outfit as well. Like throw on some heels instead of cowboy boots. Yet another Nashville outfit or Vegas. I have never been to Vegas and I hardly ever go to Nashville anymore, but apparently I like to style outfits for those of you who do go to those places, but I think this would also be a super cute girls night out outfit, which I also don't go on, or even a date night outfit. So I just threw on some black heels. These are some of my all time favorite. I wear them all the time. Another Target favorite. So this is a, another bodysuit. And I think it looks super cute. As you can see, you can dress these up or down. And I love this bodysuit because it is open in the back and has a tie. And then it does have a little clasp right here so you can keep the girls in. And you can wear a sticky boob. So that's the only thing about this is you can't wear a normal bra. And then of course you would need a jacket, but then take it off whenever you got inside. But like I said, I wanted to show a variety of different outfits because I know everyone has different style. Everyone has different lifestyles. So hopefully at least one of these, <laughs> one of these outfits would give you, will give you an idea. And as you can see, 
I don't have anything new that I am showing y'all. Just that first t-shirt is fairly new. It was that dress from Forever 21 and I think it's still available. So everything that is available I will link down below in the description box. But if it is not, I will try and find similar. This is actually from Lizard Thicket Knoxville. Okay, so here is the last outfit. Obviously, it's the dressiest. I just love the sequins. But I wanted to share an outfit that would be good for the holidays. Just in case I don't do a holiday outfit video. I think this would be really cute for like a Christmas dinner. If you're going out to dinner for Christmas with your friends or if you have a work Christmas dinner I think it'd be cute and yes I do have two different shoes because I love the pop of red for Christmas and then if you wanted to be a little bit dressy for New Year's Eve but not go all out still wanted to be kind of comfy or if you're going on like a New Year's Eve date and not really going to be out late and still kind of want to look festive, I think this would be a really good option. And for New Year's, I would do the pink heels. I am obsessed with these. So those are all of my favorite ways to wear my faux leather leggings. I think they would all look really cute with just regular leggings as well. And if you don't want to splurge or you can't splurge on the Spanx, I will list some do link some dupes down below in the description box along with the Spanx and if you do get the Spanx how many times can I say Spanx then don't forget if you are 5'5 five, five and under height wise then I would go ahead and get the petite and just get your normal size they are a little challenging for me to get on but they are supposed to be a little tight since they suck everything in and they will kind of loosen up a little once you wear them but I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Let me know which outfit was your favorite. But if this gave y'all some ideas and you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But I don't have anything else to say except thank you for watching. And I'll see y'all in my next video.